Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And now, host Cheryl Miller. Hello and good morning. Thanks so much for joining us for Battle of the Brains. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our teams today are playing in round one of our academic challenge. Due to the pandemic, our teams are joining us remotely. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Today's teams are the cadets of Benedictine College Preparatory, coached by Mike Forster. Founded in 1911, this Catholic all-male military school is located in Goochland County. Students experience a unique combination of academic, athletics, and leadership opportunities that challenge cadets to reach their full potential. Also with us today, the Eagles of Jamestown High School, coached by Brian Gross. Jamestown High School is located just outside of Williamsburg. More than 1,200 students attend the high school that takes its name from the nearby Jamestown, the first permanent English settlement in North America. And a big welcome to all of our students today. Good to have you here. Since we can't all be together here in our Richmond studio, here's how the gameplay has changed. Toss-up rounds are directed question team to team, alternating between the teams. Players on that team will answer by raising their hand and waiting for me to call on them. We also have Virginia-based video questions this season from the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. Good luck, teams. Let's start the first toss-up round. The first question goes to Benedictine. What is the term for a mathematical series in which the ratio of consecutive terms is constant? That would be geometric. Jamestown, built by Spanish missionaries, this was turned into a fortress for the Texas War of Independence. Named the San Antonio Mission that was destroyed by Mexican troops after a 13-day siege. Sam. The Alamo. That is correct. Benedictine, which of these is not a book in the Old Testament of the Bible? Proverbs, Hebrews, Joel, or Ezra? Sam. Joel. It's actually Hebrews. Jamestown, green ones include Gayakoru from Japan and gunpowder from China. Black ones include Darjeeling from India. These are all types of what beverage that can be served hot or iced? Tea. Caroline. Caroline? Tea. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Tea. Tea is what you're saying? Yes, that is correct. Benedictine. After the vice president, who is next in line in the order of U.S. presidential succession? Connor. Speaker of the House. That is correct. Jamestown. Name the Lynn Manuel Miranda production about Dominican Americans in New York City's Washington Heights that was recently made into a movie. Caroline. In the Heights. That is correct. Benedictine. Please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your video. Question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. Arthur Ashe was the first male person of color to win which prestigious tennis tournament? Connor. The U.S. Open. It actually was Wimbledon. Jamestown, the common impure form of this compound is a yellow-brown gas whose odor resembles a namesake condiment. Name this chemical weapon used in World War I. Joshua. Mustard gas. That is correct. Benedictine, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. A wheel with a four-inch radius is rolling along a straight line. If the wheel makes 30 revolutions, then in terms of pi, what is the distance in inches traveled by the center of the wheel? And the answer is 240 pi inches. Jamestown, this poisonous plant's main toxic ingredient causes skin rash and itching. Name this plant that shares its name with a female villain in the Batman comic books. Sam. Poison ivy. That is correct. Benedictine, of the almost countless numbers of animal species which abound on this planet, which were the first creatures to develop a backbone or spine? Sam. Vertebrates? Say again for me. Vertebrates. 
No, we were looking for a specific creature. They would be the fish. Jamestown, the Cuban Missile Crisis nearly culminated in a nuclear confrontation between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. In what year did this crisis take place? Sam? 1962. That is correct. Benedictine, a 1999 Time magazine survey ranked Mohandas Gandhi third, Franklin Roosevelt as runner-up. With signature bushy white hair, who was identified as the most influential person of the 20th century? Connor. 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 And it seems like the team from Benedictine cannot hear me at this point. Um, we're going to take a quick break and we'll come back uh, with another round here on Battle of the Brains. We'll try to fix that technical issue and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And welcome back to Battle of the Brains. We had a little bit of a technical problem, and the team from Benedictine Connor was not unable to answer his question, so we're going to re-ask the question and give Connor a chance to answer it. Connor, a 1999 Time magazine survey ranked Mohandas Gandhi third, Franklin Roosevelt as runner-up. With signature bushy white hair, who was identified as the most influential person of the 20th century? Albert Einstein. And that is correct. And that gives your team an extra score. So let's check the scores now following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Benedictine College Preparatory has 20 points and Jamestown High School now has 60 points. And we'll get back to our match just ahead. But first, we want to introduce you to our players. Let's start with our team from Benedictine College Preparatory. They are the cadets. Their coach is Mike Forster. First up is Kobe Anyuke, who is a senior, who is a sergeant major in the Corps of Cadets. Played football all four years at Benedictine also as well as taking part in track and field and in his free time he enjoys playing video games lifting weights and watching college football our team captain from benedictine is connor murphy who is a senior he currently holds the rank of major he's a member of the golf cross country indoor track and soccer teams he's competed in model general assembly and attended boy state and is a member of the spanish club Next up is Chase Bruce. Chase is a junior, holds the military rank of first sergeant for Alpha Company. He's a member of Benedictine's tennis, choir, and robotics teams. He's also a participant in the Civil Air Patrol and the Boy Scouts of America. And wrapping up our team from Benedictine is Sam Canestrano, who is a senior. His military rank is first lieutenant, and he has the role of assistant supply officer. He's a member of the varsity soccer and tennis teams and has earned the rank of Eagle Scout in the Boy Scouts. That's our team from Benedictine Preparatory. Now let's meet our team from Jamestown High School. The Eagles are coached by Ryan Gross. First up is Caroline Yu, who's a senior. She enjoys drawing in her free time and wants to study abroad in Korea. Our team captain for Jamestown is Sam Kaiser. Sam is a senior. He enjoys history and reading. He's the captain of the Scholastic Bowl team and plans to attend school in a big city. Didn't tell us which big city, but we wish you luck with that. Uh, jo Josh Angelo is a senior. He's interested in science and mathematics and hopes to attend Virginia Tech in the fall. And Woody Hulse is a senior from Jamestown High School would like to study computer science in college. In his free time right now, he enjoys playing chess and he likes to walk his dog, Sally. She probably enjoys that too. That's our team from Jamestown High School. Now for our category round where each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20 point bonus. Teams, here are the categories from which you may choose today. They are math terms, E to E, and cartoon characters. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answer. And per rules, the high score team gets first choice of category. That is Jamestown High School. So, Sam, if you would unkey your microphone and quickly talk it over with your teammates and let us know what category you would like to play. We will take cartoon characters. All right, cartoon characters. I will name a cartoon character. You tell me on what animated TV show they appear. The first is C. Montgomery Burns. My aunt. Our answer is The Simpsons. That is correct. Velma Dinkley. Our answer is Scooby-Doo. Correct. Bender, the robot. 
Our answer is Futurama. Correct. Eric Cartman. Our answer is South Park. Correct. Finn the Human. Our answer is Adventure Time. Correct. Ned Flanders. Our answer is The Simpsons. Correct. Beast Boy. Our answer is Teen Titans. Correct. Patrick Starr. Our answer is SpongeBob SquarePants. Correct. The supervillain Brock. Or Brack. Our answer is Young Justice. That would be Space Ghost. And finally, Stewie Griffin. Our answer is Family Guy. And that is correct. Watch a lot of TV animation. Good for you. That helped a lot in that category. All right, Benedictine, math terms or E to E. Connor, please unmute your microphone and talk it over with your teammates and let me know what category you would like to play. What y'all feeling? I I'm going E to E. What do y'all think? Yeah, yeah, maybe E to E. Yeah. I feel like we would be better at math terms. Huh? I feel like we would be better at math terms because... Uh, I don't know. I'm feeling E to E. Okay, let's go. All right, we're going E to E. All right, give these one-word answers that begin and end with the letter E. The first is source of the optical nerve. I. I. The answer is I. Correct. Antonym of cheap. The answer is expensive. Correct. Forced to leave. Um, the answer is ev evacuate. Correct, or exile would be acceptable. Catch in a trap. Answer is ensnare. Correct. Main course at a restaurant. Entree. Answer is entree. Correct. A geological epic. Y'all got this. Oh, uh, epoch. Yeah, epoch. Answer is epoch. It would be eocene. E to e. Shock or kill with current. Answer is electrocute. Correct. Varieties include harpy, golden, and bald. Eagle. Answer is eagle. Correct. A slightly flattened circle. Answer is eclipse. It would be ellipse. E and finally, a roof edge overhanging the supporting wall. That's the eve on the roof. Good job by our teams in the category round. Up next, we've got more questions. Another toss-up round here to come on Battle of the Brain. Stay with us. Welcome back to Battle of the Brain, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Breakfast. Brains, Benedictine College Preparatory with 55 points, Jamestown High School with 105 points. And now it's back to battle the brains and another toss-up round. Again, our questions in this virtual season being directed team to team, alternating between them. Players can answer by raising their hand and waiting for me to call on them. There are no point deductions for an incorrect answer. All right, our first question in this toss-up round goes to Jamestown High School. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. All but one of the interior angles of a certain irregular hexagon are equal. That oddball measures 100 degrees, which allows the measure of the other five to be deduced. What is the measure of each of the hexagon's other five angles? would be 124 degrees. Benedictine, what is the only period periodic table group which contains elements in all three familiar states of matter at standard temperature and pressure? Kobe. Alkalines. That would be the halogens. Jamestown, Boston College, Wake Forest, and the University of North Carolina play football in what NCAA conference? Woody. ACC. That is correct. They play in the ACC. Benedictine. Opened in 1975, Space Mountain has thrilled park goers for decades. In what amusement park is this roller coaster located? Connor. Walt Disney World. That is correct. In Florida. Jamestown, please watch the screen and listen closely. Here is your Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains, Brainy Bunch. 
It is one of the few rivers in the U.S. to flow northward. Name this river that flows through Radford, Virginia into a namesake gorge in West Virginia. Sam. The New River. The New River is correct. Benedictine, in professional basketball leagues, they are six feet wide and three and a half feet tall. Name these surfaces that are not hit by either swishes or air balls. Sam. The rim. We were looking for the backboard. Jamestown, for a resistor, it can be written as the square of the current times the resistance or the voltage times the current. For a blender, it's expressed as the change in energy per unit time. Name this physical quantity whose SI unit is the watt. Woody. Power. Power is correct. Benedictine, John Jay received one, Charles Pinckney received 64, John Adams received 65, and both Aaron Burr and Thomas Jefferson received 73 electoral votes in the presidential election of what year? The first decided by Congress. Chase. 1800. That is correct. Jamestown, this popular tourist attraction in the Black Hills of South Dakota, displays the images of four U.S. presidents. Name this monument. Caroline. Mount Rushmore. Correct. Benedictine, the Spanish verb ser and estar translate to what infinitive verb in English? Connor. To be. That is correct. Jamestown, a French sapeur pompier is what brave, often life saving occupation here in the U.S.? Caroline. Paramedic. It would be a firefighter. Benedictine, the 16th century artist created the famous oil canvas called the Venus of Urbino, who is this painter, one of the greats of the Venetian school. Kobe. Um, Michelangelo. That would be Titian. Jamestown, you may need your pencil and paper. The product of two nearly equal integers, such as 502 and 498, can be found quickly after one realizes that the product of A plus B and A minus B is just A squared minus B squared. Using this shortcut, find the product of 502 and 498. Woody. 2,496. Repeat for me, please. 2,496. No, it would be 249,996. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round to go, and we'll have today's winner. Stay with us for more Battle of the Brains. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here's a look at the scores as we head now into this final round here on Battle of the Brains. Benedictine with 85 points, Jamestown with 145 points. Now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled. And there is no deduction for an incorrect answer as it has been all game long. Good luck, teams. Here's our final toss-up round. The first question going to Benedictine. This nation's Pic de la Selle is just across the border from Lago Enriquillo, the largest lake on Hispaniola. Name this French and Creole speaking nation that borders the Dominican Republic. Sam. Haiti. That is correct. Jamestown, you may need your pencil and paper. In this sequence, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, what is the next number? Woody. 17. 17 is correct. Benedictine, in which South American country is La Paz the capital city? Sam. Bolivia. That is correct. Jamestown, pencil and paper ready. In a certain isosceles triangle, all of whose angles are acute, angle A has a sine of 1 over 2. What must the measure of each of the other two angles be, given that they must be the congruent angles? That would 
be 75 degrees. Benedictine, what is the most number of turning points that a continuous polynomial function of degree n can have, given that n is a number greater than 1? Sam. Pi. It would be n minus 1. Jamestown, this mythological bird lived at least 500 years before returning to its nest, setting itself on fire, then rising from the ashes. What is this bird associated with the sun? Caroline. Phoenix. Phoenix is correct. Benedictine. He is the only president of the U.S. to serve as Speaker of the House. Name this president who was in office during the Mexican War. Sam. Polk. James Polk is correct. Jamestown, Mike Durnt, Trey Cool, and Billy Joe Armstrong are the members of what Hall of Fame punk rock band? Sam. Green Day. Green Day is correct. Benedictine, Winnipeg is the capital of which Canadian province? Sam. Manitoba. That is correct. Jamestown, the artist used his dentist and his sister and an unusual farmhouse in Eldon, Iowa for his most famous painting. Name the artist of this 1930 painting, American, American Gothic, Sam. Grant Wood. That is correct. Benedictine, with a wingspan of nearly five feet, these predatory birds can fly up to 70 miles per hour. Harry Potter had one named Hedwig. What are these birds? Sam. Owl. I need you to be more specific. Snowy Owl. Snowy Owl is correct. Jamestown, what is the name given to the geometric figure that has seven straight sides and seven angles? Sam. Heptagon. Heptagon is correct. Benedictine, they are associated with the Mousterian style of stone tools, and their first fossils were found in 1856 near Dusseldorf. Name these hominids displaced by Cro-Magnons. Sam. Neanderthals. Neanderthal is correct. Jamestown, what is the only U.S. state whose name ends with three vowels? Woody. Hawaii. That is correct. Benedictine, this series of acts consists of five laws that dealt with the issues of slavery and territorial expansion. What is this compromise that helped delay the Civil War for a decade? Kobe. Uh, the Compromise of 1877. That is incorrect. It was the Compromise of 1850. That buzzer means the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, we want to remind you how to stay connected with Battle of the Brains. To find out more about our show, just log on to battleofthebrains.net and you'll also find Battle of the Brains on Facebook and episodes of our show on our YouTube page. As we continue round one of our new season of Battle, join us next week when we virtually welcome teams from Henrico County's Douglas Freeman High School and Cosby High School of Midlothian in Chesterfield County. Now, here's the final score for today's match, the winning team going on to the next round. With a final score of 205 points, our team from Benedictine, a good job today by Kobe, Connor, Chase, and Sam are winners with a final score of 265 points. The team from Jamestown High School. Congratulations to Carolyn, Sam, Woody, and Josh. We'll see you in the next round. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains. We'll see you back here next Saturday morning. Great job, teams. Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan.